the fuck is up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany and today's video I'm so fucking excited today's video we are going to be doing a lip swatch video on the new tower 28 the milky lip jellies I feel like Vanna White right now like <laughs> yes bitch these lip jellies are going to be the tower 28's lip gloss formula and I am such a fan of their original formula so as soon as I said that they were dropping these I wasn't sure if I was gonna get these in PR but these were sent to me I'm so excited because I love all the shades in these and I love a good lip gloss. Let's just be honest. Like your girl over here is a glossy bridge. I love me some lip glosses. So I'm very curious to see how they compare to the original formula. So I'll probably give you guys some swatches of these as well. But these are going to be a more milky, a little bit more nude, muted down type of formula. I think that's just me kind of going into it. But I really like the variety that they included for only doing four shades. I think it's really accommodating towards lighter and deeper skin tones as well. Anytime that Tower 28 comes out with something, I'm fucking here for it because this is a brand that I genuinely love. And I almost feel like, you know, when you hear a song for the first time and you're like, ooh, this song's really good and you start to listen to it over and over and then all of a sudden it becomes popular and you're like, wait, I knew about this song before everybody else. That's how I feel about Tower 28 because ever since they dropped at Sephora, I'm telling you, I have loved all of their products. Like, their original lip jellies, their blushes, oh my god, their cream blushes are fire. Their bronzino bronzers, these were sent to me in PR. Their super new highlighter and also the toner spray, I've purchased that countless amount of times. Like, clearly, I'm a big fan of this brand and I really love their mission behind this brand because they design their products to be ideal for all skin types. Sensitive skin is their big focus. Like, they want everybody to be able to use this, especially if you have sensitive skin. But I really love the fact that for being a smaller brand, even though they're at Sephora, they are still a small brand. They are inclusive. Like within the ranges that they do offer, they show swatches on a variety of different skin tones. At least that's just my opinion. I just really love this brand and I want to continue to show as much love and support for them as I possibly can. So that's where this video is coming from. It's just out of a place of love. Like I said, these were sent to me, but this is in no way sponsored. And I wanna share this little note that I got from the brand because I just thought it was so sweet. It says, hi Britt, thanks so much for showing your continued support and congrats on your brush collection. So cool, we know you're nuts about our OG lip jelly and we can't wait for you to try the Milky. Inspired by you and our fave <laughs> alternate notes, just add Milky, XO, Amy, and Team Tower 28. I just thought that was so cool and it was so touching to me just to see that they've acknowledged the fact that I had like my very first collaboration. It was just, you know, for little old me, it's things like that that really stick out to me when just working with brands, being associated with brands and all that sort of stuff. So I'm clearly a fan of this brand. I, I'm expecting nothing less than amazing quality from these, honestly. But I feel like, honestly, lip swatch videos are so insanely helpful when trying to make your purchasing decisions. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to swatch all these on my lips and... Just so you guys have a reference, I am going to be a light to medium skin tone with neutral undertones. And just so you guys know which foundation I'm wearing today, it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the shade Neutral Buff Beige N4. This, love this foundation so much, but that way you guys have a reference to what my skin tone is. You can see what these look like on light to medium skin. And I'm going to let you guys know in comparison, like how I feel if they're any different from the original lip jelly formula. So with all that being said, holy cow, that was a long ass intro, but let's dive into the lip swatch videos and then I will let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on these lip jellies. So this first one is going to be coconut. This is going to be a semi sheer formula in a milky mauve pink undertone. So right off the bat with this shade, it is definitely going to be a sheer formula, but it does have that slight hint. I would say this leans more pink versus mauve tone. That's just me and my opinion, at least how it looks on my skin tone. The formula though feels exactly the same as the original. Even the scent is very reminiscent. I think this almost has like a coconut, like a natural coconut scent to it. Almost like a coconut oil scent because I do believe that that's one of the main ingredients. But I almost smell like a, almost like a slight hint of strawberry. I don't know, like I'm smelling something additionally, but I feel like the formula itself feels very reminiscent. Maybe like a tiny bit, like, thicker maybe but it's it's very minute like I've been wearing those original lip jellies for a really long time so I would notice something like that but I think the shade on this is beautiful very wearable very natural looking I'm still seeing that beautiful shine that I love with the original formula as well so I'm very very into <laughs> this shade right here the next shade is going to be cashew this is a semi sheer milky rose brown it's definitely a sheer formula I like to put two layers just because I like it to look super glossy but this shade is so so neutral for me i think it's beautiful it reminds me a lot of a deeper version of that nabla gloss that i got recently 
I really, really like this shade though. Very wearable, very just neutral, everyday appropriate. She cute. I like this one. I think especially with this look right now, and mind you, I don't have any lip liner or anything like that. I wanted you guys to see the gloss itself. Very sheer formula. I'm noticing the same scent. I'm expecting to notice the same scent anyways. But this lip with this look is everything. The next shade is going to be, oh, this is a semi-sheer formula with a milky peachy pink undertone. I think oh would be a perfect shade for me to really mute down any lipstick or liquid lipstick. If I want it to look a little bit more muted, this would be a go-to shade for me. That's how I like to utilize my glosses. Like I don't like them to be super pigmented, which is what I really like about these. Like they are very sheer, but they're still super shiny and glossy. But I love the milkiness to it because I think especially with like a nude lipstick or a nude liquid lipstick, the milky like consistency to this is very flattering, I think. And it looks just super natural. Like I could still rock these on my lips. I mean, I could do that with either of the other ones too. But I just, I really like how this looks like a, almost like a my lips, but better. I'm really into that shade, especially for, I think when I would go to like mute down my lip products, I think I would reach for that one a lot. And then the last one is going to be the shade Almond. This is a semi sheer milky chocolate. This was the one I was most interested in just because I think the shade on this is so different for me, like for a gloss. I was just so eyeing this one, especially for fall winter. I think this shade is definitely more pigmented of the four, but it's still very, very sheer, but buildable, very flattering, especially on my skin tone with this eye look. I think it's so pretty. Like just gives me fall vibes. I'm so into it. Oh, I just love this shade though. I think it's so pretty. So my final thoughts on these, I think they're very similar to the original formula. I think there are some like ingredient differences between the two. Like a very slight difference in my opinion. The main difference that I notice is the smell. And I think that the Milky formula actually does look a little bit more flattering on my lips as far as making my lips look a little bit more smooth. I think that milkiness is just very flattering. And I could see myself honestly reaching more for the Milky just because of how I do my lips on like a day to day. Like I love the glossiness that these glosses give my lips. I love the hydration that these glosses give. But I think as far as like normally I put on like a nude lip liner, a nude lipstick, and then I'll top it with a gloss to really tie it all together. I don't know though, because I think the original formulas are bomb. I think they're so flattering on my lips as well. So I don't really notice like, I don't know. I just really don't notice much of a difference. Like if you like the original and these nudes speak to you, these would be a line that I would recommend. So that is my final thoughts on these glosses. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys thought of this lip swatch video and let me know your favorite products from Tower 28. Like, do you guys wanna see another full face of Tower 28? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.